signal to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. who 
would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team. Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Gordo, you're on sundown, and we need you on stopwatch. Hop to it. Get your thrills elsewhere, Gordon. Please, leave me alone until after the experiment. Gordon, don't touch that. Go use another computer. Are you 100% sure that theory of yours is correct? I reckon so. Good morning, Dr. Freeman but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans! Don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Oh, would you look at that. Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Well, good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. Doctor, the 
Big day today, eh, hey, Freeman? We can talk later, Gordon. Yep, yep, yep. There's a pepperoni pizza in my near future. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Good morning, Gordon. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. You'll just have to wait until after the test. I never. Coded message for Sergeant. You forgot to carry the two. I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research. We can talk at lunch. Popular science. You got the wrong airline, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated... Ah. I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him. But here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated air socks are absolutely full of it. Create this out of hiding. Morning, champ. Hello. Ow! Gordon! That really hurt. Freeman, please. What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Cause uh, that was, um, that was you know who's lunch. They've been paging you all morning, Dr. Freeman. Best get downstairs before you cause any more disasters. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Triple pleated khakis. Preposterous. <sighs> Dread. No toilet paper. Somebody get me some toilet paper. Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. these loot 
ludicrous penny loafers. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. I impact reactive armor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Vital sign monitoring activated. Automatic medical systems engaged. Defense weapon prevention system activated. Mission level monitoring activated. Communications interface online. Have a very right on, safe day. Hello. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's place angles and make sure the What's up, Doc? Hi, Gordon. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. The test chamber. Right. Come on then. I'll walk you down. If I has been busy making last minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon. Good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're, they're a bit strange to just... Oh, it's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on oh. with our equipment? Oh. It was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. By Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha! Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. 
I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. Please excuse me, Gordon. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Uh, please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance again. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Insertion for non standard specimen. Go ahead, Gordon. Slot the carrier into the analysis port. Oh my god. Shut it down. Shut it down. Someone get him out of here. Shut it down. It's not. It's not shutting down. Oh god. Something, Gordon. He's 
just savoring the moment. One day, he'll look back to this as the beginning of his illustrious career. There's no need for performance anxiety, Dr. Freeman. Of course not. You're a seasoned pro by now. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives.
strike the warden. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat, he's alive. Gordon, thank God for that hazard suit. All the falls are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. <laughs> Help you along the way. And for God's sake, keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me? these things, man. And why are they wearing science team uniforms? Ready when you are, Doc. Jesus, this place is in bad shape. Oh, 
got a promotion. Okay. Emergency situation here. I repeat, we have a code red emergency situation here. Possible bio
Thank God. Listen, I know where you can find some more weaponry. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you. You're sure you don't mind if I come with you? my fill for excitement today. Is it safe? Oh, oh dear. I do believe I soiled myself. Um, run along, Freeman. I have some sordid business to attend.
there. <laughs> 